Hello everybody, my name is BD418 and welcome back to a brand new LEGO Ultimate C build. Today we're kicking off a brand new series with 76906's Speed Champions Ferrari 512M. This car won the latest community vote by a good few. So here we are, the next five builds will be the Ferrari 512. I'd like to say real quick as well, there was no video last week for the MSU series, I apologise. I had rendering issues with the video and it wasn't able to come out, but it was meant to be. But it was a Ford Ranger or a Ford Raptor, something like that. It was going to be a big build, but unfortunately it wasn't able to come out in time. Today we're kicking off our latest series with the 512M's first ever stripped down from Bill. I've never touched this thing really since I built it. It's been converted into a Ferrari F40. And this looks a little bit different to the other Ferrari F40 conversion I've done with another set before. It does look pretty funky, coming in at 227 pieces, over 107 steps. So divide those two, you get roughly 2.1 pieces in average per section for this build. And yeah, it's going to look really cool. Only uses pieces from the set apparently, so there might be a couple spares, there might not be. I have no idea, but let's strip this thing apart, I'll put the pieces in the recording tubs and get to our first conversion for 76906. Enjoy.
is a full on complete conversion from 76906's Ferrari 512M Speed Champs to the Ferrari F40. And it looks almost like a rally car. Look at the blimmin ground clearance on this thing, bro. This, the front wheels are like a foot off the floor. This is a funky looking F40. I can see the resemblance, especially at the back. Them four lights really do it. Front, yeah, I can see the F40 look. It doesn't look too much like an F40. It's like a, um, like a youngster made it, but I guess they did well with the pieces that they had. And it is a cool looking thing. It took about 40 minutes to build. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving a look at it and it, it, it does look pretty cool. Uh, it's not the, not the most realistic looking car, but they don't always have to be. Sometimes it's nice to just build something different and have a quirky little design. This certainly is one of those. But it is cool to have Ferrari red on a Ferrari. Ferrari to Ferrari conversion today. Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. And yeah, it's not a bad set, a, a relatively easy. Some of the bits are quite flimsy, especially the uh, front piece here when you attach it first of all, it's quite flimsy and loose. But once you've got all the bits together, once you've got some bits to strengthen it, some stabilities on it, it is quite rigid and quite solid. But it does look like something out of an old game, which I think is part of the beauty of this set. It's a cool little thing. I wouldn't say no to it, it isn't a bad set. It isn't the greatest of sets, but it is a quirky machine. I'll take it for what it is. I'm glad I built it. It's a good start, the 76906. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Would you build this set? Is it on your MOC list? Is it something that you'd be interested in building in the near future? Let me know. Again, it's not a bad set. It's a pretty cool thing. It doesn't look too much like an F40, but I appreciate the work done. On to the next. With that said, I've been BDFO18. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next build. Take care.